Well, Jordan, is it nice to be back here in, uh, in training with Reading and, and here at Bearwood, in fact? Yeah, of course, definitely. I've now been out for, obviously, coming back injured. I've not played football for about six months, so absolutely gagging to get back to it. And, of course, with the facilities here, is excellent. So. Yeah, as you say, your first session here in England for, for quite a long time, I imagine, too. So, uh, and, and here at Bearwood, too, with, with great surroundings. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome here, and it? it's lovely. So I can't wait till it's completed fully as well. And you've been, as you mentioned, you've been away at, uh, in, in Spain and Mallorca playing for Athletic, Atletico Baleares. You had a good time out there. It seemed like you were really enjoying your football and getting, you know, a taste of first-team stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, as soon as I managed to get into starting over there, I was starting pretty much every game. So, yeah, I really enjoyed my time over there. It was a great experience for me. Yeah, we, we know Spain is a kind of, well, we think of it as like tiki-taka and so on. But actually, it sounds like it might have been a little bit, you know, a little bit similar to what you can expect here, a bit physical and, and high tempo at times. Yeah, exactly. I thought going out there, you know, it would be a little bit more like that and it would be um, tick attack at easy play, but it was a lot more physical, physically demanding than I thought and um, winning the second balls and doing the bits that I wasn't used to doing out there. So it's a good learning curve for sure. And, and part of that learning curve too is, you know, the playing in a different environment, you know, different weather, different culture, you know, uh, different language and so on. Did you, did you kind of enjoy that side a bit about challenging for a young guy, I guess? Yeah, of course. Very difficult to begin with, for sure. It was, I, I didn't speak a word of Spanish going out there and there wasn't a lot of players, in all, in all honesty, that spoke English, which made it difficult for me. But listen, I got on with it, I cracked on with it and now I speak a fair good bit of the language as well. So it's something that I've added to my life, not necessarily just football. So yeah, that was definitely a bonus for it. Playing regularly as well as you mentioned, you know, I think you were on, you know, free kicks and corners and the rest of it as well, weren't you? So you know, you were properly part of that team. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, exactly. The manager, I had gone out there for a few days just um, for him to see if he wanted me in the team, and said straight away, yeah. So I think he was keen on me straight away as soon as I was out there. So the second um, I was on dead balls or whatever, yeah, I was on from the from the set go. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And again, shame not to kind of be involved right through to the end. I see you had a little bit of a, an injury, is that right? It's coming towards the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, luckily I only missed about three games because of the whole corona thing. But um, yeah, I just had an injury towards the end. But up to then I was playing um, pretty much every game. So. Shame you weren't involved in that playoffs. I think they lost on pens, didn't they, in the final? Yeah, so they lost They lost on pens in the final. And then because they won the league, they still had another chance to then go up. So then you'd have to win the semi-finals and finals. And they also lost that game one yeah. as well, unfortunately. So yeah, it was a shame for them. Well, bad luck for them, but I've, you know, for you, you know, back here at Reading, and hopefully, I guess you're looking for opportunities here now, aren't you? Yeah, of course, definitely. I'm trying to push now and trying to get in the gaffer's eyes and see what I can do and see if he likes me. Well, and I know he's kind of given a few players chances, you know, either, either through cups, but also in, you know, in the first team in the league as well. So, um, yeah, just trying to get in the eye when it, we, the first team obviously come back next week, but um, see if he can get us, you know, claim a spot in the first team groups, you know, for match days. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Just like you said, you know, I'm trying as hard as I can. I've worked as hard as I can, and. Um, it's down to him at the end of the day and what he thinks. So. And do you kind of set yourself ambitions for the next sort of 12 months or so? Or is it a little bit of a case to see how things play out, see what players come and go? As oh, well? no, definitely. You know, I'm confident I want to push as much as I can and I want to be playing first team football. So um, whether that's here or not, I'm going to make sure and do my best to make sure that it is here. And that is my ambition to get into Ren's first team now and be in there for sure.